Okay, welcome back to another recap of NBA Playoff Basketball. I hope you enjoyed the past two videos, because I've, I've, I've had fun making them. Because it feels like I can finally talk about something where people will actually listen to it. Uh, yesterday's games included the likes of Game 5 between the Sixers and Wizards, Game 5 between the Jazz and Grizzlies, Game 5 between the Knicks and Hawks, and Game 5, game five between the Clippers and Mavericks. I didn't watch the Jazz and... Grizzlies game, and I also didn't watch the 76ers and Wizards game. Uh, I didn't watch those two games because they were on NBA TV, and I kind of just wanted to stick on the same channel, so I just watched the games on TNT. Uh, good job to Philly, though, for uh, closing the game, or closing the series out in five against the Wizards. Sucks that in B towards meniscus. Uh, hopefully, I'm hoping, well, I'm hoping for the uh, Philly fans, hoping for them that they can see Embiid play at some point in the playoffs uh then in game five between the knicks and hawks trey young had 36 9 and 4 capella had 15 rebounds and hawks won 103 to 89 uh good job for closing it out in the garden uh i bet the fans there were like pretty pissed i heard that uh spike lee left early i mean he must have been furious that uh they were losing. Uh, Julius Randle at 23 and a 13, but he had eight turnovers. So he went from being the most improved player to being like the most useless player, pretty much. And like, he's now, now that he's considered a superstar, he's going to be criticized a lot more than what he used to get criticized. Because, you know, before, okay, he was a young player. He doesn't really have too much like experience on him it's fine if he doesn't mess up but now he really has to you know he's gonna be judged a lot more uh then game five between the uh jazz and grizzlies um good job on the gri good job on the jazz for closing out the series uh the grizzlies though they showed a lot of promise and potential jaw had 27 and 11 and he's played throughout he's played both throughout the entire series and uh he actually had, I think he was the, um, either the youngest player or one of, like, the first few players to score 100 points or more in their first three playoff games, which is a pretty big accomplishment, I would say. And then, but they weren't really enough for Donovan's, like, 30 and 10, and Rudy Gobert had, like, 18 and 15 or 12, he, he had, like, 15 boards in ish. Uh, then there was game five between the Mavs and the Clippers. This is the one I looked at the most and, you know, was paying attention to the most it was pretty it was like a very close game up until the third quarter and then at some point and you know nearing the end of the fourth quarter they had a 101 to 91 lead clippers went on a run they went on like an 8-0 run and then the mavericks closed them out but uh yeah like good job luca had 42 14 and 8 and it seems that the issue in game four the reason why they lost uh, was due to the fact that Luka Doncic injured his neck. So, um, seems that he's healthy now. Kawhi only had 20 points, which is not a good thing for the Clippers. And especially because the next game should be in Dallas. Should be in Dallas. Uh, then, uh, let me, I'm just, I just have a basis to look at, uh, the Clippers in Game 4 played small, or no, the, yeah, the Clippers in Game 4 played small, so they made Kristaps shoot like a point guard, which he's not used to, uh, but, yeah, then the counteract that Coach Rick Carlisle of the Mavs, he put in Boban, who is 7'4", or 7'5", and they just couldn't really comprehend it, uh, for some reason, Coach Ty Lue didn't put Kawhi on Luka, because Kawhi's probably their best perimeter defender, like, next to Rondo and Paul George, but I would think that, like, he's a pretty smart guy, it seems, so you would think that you would put your best defensive player on their best offensive player, but maybe not. Uh, but today, on June 3rd, we have the Suns versus the Lakers, the, which, and by the way, is going to be in the Staples Center, we have the and we also have the Blazers versus Nuggets game. And 
Uh, AD is going to be the difference maker tonight, whether he plays or not. Uh, LeBron, hopefully he can play really well. Uh, yeah, he's six foot nine, two fifty. So I hope that he would be able to pretty much counteract almost anything that gets thrown at him, or at least should be. Uh, I don't care if he shoots twenty for fifty. I really don't, as I don't care about his percentages, as long as he scores, like, I, I think they need him to score, like, 40 points. And he needs to be aggressive, and he should be able to body everybody on the court. So, I'm excited to watch the games tonight. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, it was a lot shorter than my last one, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!